Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Monday, 17th June, 2024. Monday of week 11, in ordinary time. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us offer this Holy Eucharist for all our intentions. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as fellow workers, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time, I heard you, and on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time, because now is the day of salvation. We cause no one to stumble in anything, in order that no fault may be found with our ministry. On the contrary, in everything we commend ourselves as ministers of God through much endurance, in afflictions, hardships, constraints, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, vigils, fasts. By purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in unfeigned love, in truthful speech, in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness at the right and at the left, through glory and dishonor, insult and praise, we are treated as deceivers and yet are truthful, as unrecognized and yet acknowledged, as dying and behold we live, as chastised and yet not put to death, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet enriching many, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord, the Lord has, has made, made known, known his salvation. salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord, the Lord has, has made, made known, known his, his salvation. salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The, the Lord, Lord has, has made, made known, known his, his salvation. salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen <clears throat> the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. 
the Lord has made known his salvation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you in your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with your over a tunic, hand him over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Today in the Gospel and the celebration, of this Holy Eucharist reminds us how the power of the Word of God acts in every heart and it's through the power of love. It's never an opportunity to let the evil of hatred and division and of violence to overpower us. It's the power of the love of God, it's the power of the love of Christ that helps us to understand the message of the gospel. Everything that we go over in the scriptures will bring us to that awesome experience of the love of God. And the, the letter to the Corinthians that we hear today, what Paul is talking to the Corinthian community, is that opportunity to understand the ministry of those who serve the Lord, of those who serve Christ, as those who bring the power of love and the power of hope into a community of faith and into the world. And that's the message that we need to grasp. That's the message that we need to understand. It will really need and want and desire the transformation of the world into the gospel, into the kingdom of heaven. Paul is telling them, talking to them all the trials they, they have endured in their ministry. But they said to, he said to them, these trials, these difficulties are the power also of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ that we bring there. And we could look defeated in so many circumstances, but they, the power of love that transforms everything in our ministry, in everything we do, is the same power of love that Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., the power of love that Monsignor Romero in El Salvador, and all the saints who strive for justice, for peace, for love, for understanding to the other, all those who rescue the human dignity, the love, and the power of human dignity that we have as created beings in the love of God, in the image and likeness of God, is what we defend, what we strive for. Today, let us, the gospel inspire us today at this holy altar and that the words that Christ is saying to us of desire and love for the world, for the neighbor, for everyone, for ourselves, be what we partake in this holy sacrifice of the Mass. These are the Beatitudes left in daily life. This is the power of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who 
offer himself, to stretch out his arms for the love of the world, who was able to give us his love, his splendor, his body, and his blood at this holy altar, so that we may have life. And it's the life that we share. It's the power of his love and in the splendor of his cross. Let us be partakers of this message of nonviolence. Let us be partakers of the message of love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us present our petitions to our Heavenly Father. That God's power may be made perfect in the hearts of our bishops and priests, who in spite of their weakness, trust him for the grace to lead his holy people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heed our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord, who sets captives free and raises up those who were bowed down, may prosper the work of all who labor for justice, life, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heed our, our prayer. prayer that we may be cheerful and generous givers, confident that God will make every grace abundant for us and enrich us in every way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heed our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are suffering hardships, afflictions, and constraints, through life's trials, that patience and kindness and the Holy Spirit may also be given to them through the power of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heed our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, that they may enter the mysterious realm of God's hidden kingdom, that they may receive their reward and abundant joy forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heed our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Help us to share the mystery of the cross of your Son and the mystery of his peace, consolation, and love that come from this holy altar. This we present to you through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, and we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in the offer is presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he has stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with friends is our Pope, with Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Lord, teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. A new day, quit all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new day, quit all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new day, Quit all is peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Oh, 
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.